Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT Faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. Firstly, I'll explain the bouncer of the last video. Okay, this was the question taken as the bouncer. There are 35 students in an hostel. Okay, total number of students are 35. When 7 new students were joined, the total mess expenditure was increased by rupees 42. Okay. If more number of people are eating, then obviously the expenditure has to increase and it is increased by rupees 42. But per head expenditure, per head expenditure was decreased by rupee 1. This is like a wholesale one. If you eat more, okay, per head there will be less one. Okay, that's what 35 people. Look here now, 35 people are there. Let's say each were paying x rupees per day. Okay, every day x rupee, x rupee, x rupee, x rupee. So, 35x is the total original cost that has been asked, find the original expenditure. If you know the x value, then 35x is your answer. Okay, now what happened? 7 new students joined. 35 were the original students. Now, there are 42 students. Okay, 42 students. Now, these 42 students are not paying x rupees each. X was the original, okay. In the previous case, everybody were paying XX. Because of more people added, everybody's per head expenditure was decreased by 1 rupee. This was the earlier per head expenditure. Now, the per head expenditure decreased by 1 rupee means into X minus 1, okay. Now, compared to these two bills, okay, this bill is how much more? 42 rupees more. This is the present bill, okay. This is the present bill. This is the original bill. And the difference of these two is 42. Difference means subtraction. That's what I'm going to do here. 42 into x minus 1 minus 35x has to be equals to what? 42. Okay. Solve this one. 42x minus 42 minus 35x is equal to 42. Okay. 7x is equal to 42 goes there becomes 84. 7 into how many times? 12. So, x value originally was 12. If I put at the place of x 12 here, 35 people were eating, each were paying 12, 12 rupees. Now, 42 people are e eating, each are paying 12 minus 1, that is 11 rupees. So, 35 into 12 is what? 420. This is the answer for this question. And guys, this is today's question. This is the time and work concept. And the question says, a person A can complete a piece of work in 20 days. Similarly, B can complete the same work in 30 days. If they work on alternate days starting with A, then in how many days the work will be finished? Alternate days means first day A will come, second day B will come, okay, third day again A, B, A, B. Okay, if they work in that way, then in how many days the work will be completed? These are your options. Now, look here, how to solve this question? A can complete a piece of work in 20 days. B can complete the same work in 30 days, okay. Take the LCM of these two time, the LCM of 20 and 30 is 60 and assume the 60 as the total work, okay. 60 units of work is there, when I give it to A, he is doing it in 20 days. 60 units if you are doing in 20 days, every day you can do 3 units, every day units of work is called efficiency. Okay, so yes, efficiency is how much? 3 units. Similarly, 60 units if you are doing in 30 days, every day you can do 2 units. So, the efficiency of B becomes 2 units. Now, first day A has to come, second day B, third day A, again B and this continues till the completion of how many units? 60 units because this is the total work. First day A comes and do how many units? 3 units. See? Efficiency of A is 3, means every day he can do 3 units. B can do 2 units. Similarly, A 3, B 2. If I check after every 2 days, see, after every 2 days, only how many units are completed? 5 units. For every 2 days, if 5 units are completed, 5 units of work, how many units of work has to be completed? 60 units of work has to be completed. To complete 60, I will make this 60. If you multiply by 12, here also you have to multiply by 12, cross multiplication. So, in how many days? 2 into 12, which is nothing but 24 days, the total work can be completed. So, the answer is A, 24 days. 
and guys very similar question I am giving you as the bouncer try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.